This is dedicated to the ones that lost their lives a little too early To the families out there still in pain I know that y'all still hurting Losing loved ones, young daughters and sons no longer with us To the soldiers overseas, never coming home to their families Alright, um, I'll show you another quick tutorial guys um, Let's see which one um, Oh yeah, also, this is a good place to share pictures, Instagram most of you guys probably heard about that and if you have Instagram follow me at Vic407 right there these are some of my pictures that I edited it's all done through Snapseed right there see that um, this is a good one that I did right there all done through iPhone with Snapseed okay so that's Instagram it's free all right, let's do this. We're gonna do Snapseed, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do another picture. Right here, we got this. Open. All right, we're gonna try. Let's try this picture right here, Sky. Uh, most of my pictures are Sky pictures, car pictures. So, all right, here's, and I'll post all link to this picture so you can get get an idea before and after all right see not bad nothing done all right now what we're gonna do is first like I said I always use drama so let me keep it this way it's better all right first I go to drama 2 you can already see the difference look at that oh you can do it like dark look at that dark so I just move it up a little bit I do it to 100 and then the color saturation just like a little bit you don't want to do too much too much is like wow you know but we'll do that later we'll bring out the colors so we'll stick at 67 or any random number but not much done and let's see you can already see the difference in the pictures before and after look at that within a matter of a minute not even but we're not done yet all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to an image and this is what I do with all my pictures so there's, it's not that complicated there's a lot of options but this is what I do this works for me um, you guys might have something different all right so now what I do is I, I don't mess with brightness I go right here and see right there I brighten up the picture if you notice look, before before I'll brighten it up a little bit, but not too much. Let's say. just leave it like that at 45, all right? And then I don't mess with contrast or nothing. White balance if you want to, you know, do crazy stuff. But I don't I don't mess with that either. This one kind of looks cool. Kind of purplish. Or this right there. But we're going to stay with zero for now. Like I said, I don't mess with it too much. And, okay processing now look tap it look at before and after you see that the clouds look at the clouds like how good they bring out see that all right now then I always click automatic just to see if he does something for me he automatically does the contrast and stuff so it didn't do much but I'll move my hand around like a finger on my hand see look at the options see what I have so no I don't like anything but what I'll do is I'll just still select automatic and I always move it to like 79 or something 79 80 alright done processing alright and last but not least we'll go ahead and sharpen the image I always sharpen it I like it uh, you can't see a difference right now but in the picture you'll see like alright so I did 35 
I usually do 35 and 33 or anything like that. I I, I try not to like do like 100 because 100 it just makes it look like really grainy and you don't want that. So just stick in the 30s, 30s, 40s, depending on the picture again. And then you can tell like let's see, see that's right now. Look at the before. See how it kind of makes it clear. Not much difference, but you can tell. See before after okay so I like that I'm gonna press that right there and that's it and look at the before after all right now let's go ahead and save this one real quick and I'll show you guys something a, little, a different way to do, do this picture we're gonna click right here let's say if you mess up you want to start all over right there and bam back to original picture right so we're gonna go back to drama this time and we're going to select drama 2 all right we're not going to do a dark picture on this one filter we're going to do filter move it first 100 and then we're going to saturation just do a little bit i would say 60. we don't want to bring out too much color for now see that okay then we're going to finalize it processing as you can see already the picture before after Alright, so now, here's what, this is a new thing right here, I'll show you guys. First, we're going to go to Tune Image, I always do this, Tune Image, and right there, that's the only option I use. Brightness, no contrast, no nothing, right there, 100, but let's do 70 something, alright. Then, I'm going to press that, processing, before after all right, right. Now, now another cool thing I'll show you with this picture what you can do is all right let's see that's before after they have this thing right here selective adjust um what it is it lets you you know adjust the tone or brightness contrast certain certain side of the picture or part of the picture let's say um, let's say we're gonna press plus right there and we're gonna click right here you see now that's B, that's brightness. So if I move to the right, it makes it really bright. Move to the left, really dark. You see that? But I don't mess with brightness and stuff unless that's like a really dark spot. Um, then you move up, contrast, saturation right there. Now, I always do that full max because that brings out the colors. And then you can move it. Like, if you see, look. Alright, uh, I'm gonna make it disappear. Press on the eye and it's gone. See, you, before, after, before, after. You see that? Um, you can do that. You can move them around right there. You can do it on the car, on the ground. Like if, I don't know if you see a difference, but see that? Anywhere you move it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the cloud like really blue right there and then you can press plus again and they'll give you another one so you do the same thing right there so you press plus click right here move it up to the s and this is go to the right up to 100 percent all right uh let's see right there now if you look before after before after you see that so this picture didn't really need that but we'll just do it and also you can change the size of the little square see bigger smaller so it depends on what picture and what you're doing with it all right so we're going to do this process it and then i press automatic i'll just do that just to see if it makes any difference just press right it doesn't really make much difference except yeah I'll just do let's see yeah it kind of brights up brighten up the picture but right here if you look it just makes it really bright so it's not worth it so we'll just stick to like 50 is okay 51 50 press that and your picture is done and last but not least let's give it a detail like let's sharpen the image move it to like 30 something and 30 right there so sharpening and structure 
I don't know if you can see the difference here in the camera, but look. Uh, yeah, before, after. L look at the, look at the sky right here. So it is before, after. Even on the ground, look. See, it gives that sharpness. So it looks better. There you go. We're gonna finalize it. That. Okay, there you go. And then that's it your pictures done this is after look at before see that and then you're gonna do that right there save and I'll post a link of the picture so you guys can actually see the details and like I said you can find me on Instagram right there let's see that's me right there. Yep, Vic four seven, and I got all this is done through Snapseed. Like, look at this one right here. See that? Snapseed, and then this one's done through Snapseed and Lenslide and several different apps. And you know, if you guys want any kind of tutorial, let me know. Um, there's this one right here see that I use the um, color splash on that no snap seed and then this one is a snap seed look at that so it's it's so easy to do it once you get hang of it and for some reason if you can't you know for some reason if you're not getting it just message me and I'll be more than happy to help you and I'm going to show you guys another tutorial real quick after this.